This program is brought to you by Emory University. Basically, platelet-rich plasma therapy is a treatment where we take a person's blood, we spin it down on the machine where we can get the platelets out, and then we inject the platelets back into the site where the injury is. Uh, normally, we use, we use this for tendons, ligaments, even sometimes joint problems. The Dutch study that was recently published was a very interesting study because it compared a very traditional form of treatment for tennis elbow, which is the tendonitis at the insertion of the tendons on the elbow, a very traditional treatment which was cortisone injection into the area versus platelet-rich plasma injection. And the theory being that although the cortisone injection may help initially, the long-term results in the healing of the tendon will occur much better with the PRP group. The results were exactly as I would have expected. The cortisone group in the first six to eight weeks actually had, a, had less pain score and less disability than the PRP group did. However, after about six to eight weeks, the cortisone wore off and the platelet-rich plasma group did really well from there on out. And by the end point of the study, around six months, it had a dramatically improved effect over the cortisone group. Well, the great thing about PRP, especially for athletes who want to get back faster and want to get back stronger than ever before, is that we now have a way to treat them without surgery where we can actually cause a healing of the tendon to occur. So before, we would try to treat them and let their pain get better and then kind of get them back to play, but there was a lot of risk of recurrence of injury because the tendon wasn't as strong as it was to begin with, and, and that, therefore they may re-injure themselves. So now we have a treatment that actually causes a healing response. At this point, anybody who has a chronic tendon problem that hasn't healed on its own or with traditional treatments would be somebody who could be a candidate for PRP. We may need to order additional tests or, or do some additional diagnostic studies to, to make sure that the tendon would respond to the treatment. Um, and, and we do that all the time. And, and if, if you're the right candidate, um, it's a good treatment for a lot of folks. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.